Hey, what's happening, everybody? Tony here with the Ice Chats. Uh, so we've been getting a lot of questions, and that's why we do these Ice Chats. And one of the big ones that keeps popping up this season is, will, uh, how well will my artificial turf drain? I got four words for you. Better than real grass. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, a number of reasons. One, it starts with the turf itself and the backing. You want to make sure that uh, the turf company you're purchasing from has a good backing that allows maximum drainage. Typically, what they do is they punch holes every six inches in every direction, and the actual threads for the turf, you could drain through there. The second part of that that actually makes it drain better than real grass, the four words, is the crushed rock aggregate base that gets compacted and put underneath. Because typically, natural uh, California soil is uh, clay-based. So when the water hits it, it's hard for it to work its way through. So it takes a little bit of time to get through there. But with that crushed rock aggregate as the base, it's actually going to drain at a lot higher speeds. So I've literally gone outside after a torrential downpour, or what it seemed like, and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about after the season. But I've gone outside and walked across turf, and I, I felt no squishiness, no anything. It just felt rock solid. Now, granted, the turf was a little wet to the touch. However, it would drain maximally. And I talk to customers all the time. I like to call them up after they've just gotten their turf installed, especially this season with all the rain, and say, hey, how was your turf right after the rain? And they say the same thing every time. Oh, my gosh, it drained good, drained well. Uh, one last thing to make sure that you know that it's going to drain good is just make sure that your installers are tying into the drains properly that are in your backyard. Or if you don't have a good drain back there, make sure that they come up with a solution for that. Because once the water does get underneath the crushed rock aggregate or the base, uh, you want to make sure it has somewhere to go. Because if it doesn't, then that's where you start running into problems. So once again, does my turf drain good? Yes, four words, better than real grass. See you next time on Ice Chats. Hi, I'm Derek. And I'm Tony. And we are here with the Ice Chats. And I just wanted to know, if you like these videos and you want to be empowered, we want to give you that option. We want to empower you, educate you, make you feel safe when you're going into the home energy efficiency space and making that transaction decision. You can follow us on a couple different areas. Yeah, so for one, subscribe to the channel right here below. Also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And check out our podcast where we're going to have a little bit more in-depth conversation than we did here today. And we'll see you then. All right.